Hey guys, good morning. Um, today's book we're going to be discussing Revolutionary Suicide by Dr. Hugh P. Newton again. Uh, this video is going to be going into the title of the book, Revolutionary Suicide, and um, explaining how that came to be. He wrote about it in uh, his manifesto. Please pause and read this quote by Margaret Walker if you like. Revolutionary Suicide, The Way of Liberation. Dr. Huey spent 22 months in prison, solitary confinement, okay? He wasn't allowed reading material, but sometimes the prisoners would slip him magazines under the door. In particular, in May 1970, he got an issue of Ebony magazine that was discussing how the suicide rate among black men was more than double um, the same of the suicide rate of his white counterparts at the same age. Okay, he talks about reactionary suicide being a response to outside conditions that overwhelm somebody. Like, oh, I just can't take it, and then they do it. But he goes deeper to talk about the spiritual death that has been going on to black people and the quiet desperation. Revolutionary suicide, though, uh, in comparison to reactionary, if reactionary suicide is outside forces being overwhelmed, revolutionary suicide is not accepting the overwhelming feeling of the outside sources, okay? We know he talks about the establishment, and we know uh, the world that we're living in is not based on what's fair. It's not based on the natural order of things, okay? The establishment exploits and takes advantage of people every day. They did back in the 60s when Dr. Huey started the Black Panther Party, and they're still doing it now in 2018, okay? Um, that being said, most people just go along with the establishment. They go along with what's going on. Please pause and read this, you guys. But the, a revolutionary does not just go along to get along. A revolutionary stands up and says, no, this is not right, and I'm actually going to change it. Okay? And standing up like that makes you stand out. Okay? Obviously. Think about the history. Think about Dr. Huey's life. He was murdered, you guys. Okay? Kwame Ture was also killed, and dozens of other revolutionaries were, So um, because they stood up. And understanding the fact that even though you stand up, like he says right here, I do not expect to live through our revolution. The most serious comrades probably share my realism. You have to because you see what happens. But what courage comes in is still standing up anyway, even though you know you probably won't make it to the end. Um, while he was in prison, and I really hope you guys pause and read these, uh, read this stuff if you can. But um, he talks about how his prison experience was a good example of revolutionary suicide. Um, because he was refusing to, he refused to play along, okay? And he was hungry and starving and stuff. But he was saying it's not so much about how he feels. It's to show the other prisoners you don't have to accept this world. All right, you guys, revolutionary suicide, very important topic. What we're going to do is um, in this video here, please subscribe to this channel. Peace and lots of love and blessings. Thanks for watching.